Hello everyone, so today we'll be discussing about what is Doctrine of Constructive Notice, Doctrine of Indoor Management, Doctrine of Ultravirus, one of the most important components in company law. So let's understand what is this doctrine, but before we start, I have a small request. Please do learn about MOA, Memorandum of Association as well as Article of Association. I've already made video about it. Please do watch those kind of concepts first, then only come back away. Only then you'll get a clear picture about what is the entire structure of doctrine, how it is functioning, everything you'll be understanding. So once your base is strong, the entire foundation pillar becomes much better. So on that count, let's get started now. Yes, I'll use my pen. Yes. So doctrine of constructive notice. So what do you mean by doctrine of constructive notice? An MOA and article of association when registered becomes public documents any person contracting a company must go through it later cannot sue a company that means that as soon for example if i want to have a contract with you and your name is common just imagine okay i want to contract with you and your name is common so when i'm researching about kamal's company i will read i should read his moa memorandum of association as well as articles of association aoa okay article of association i have to compulsorily read it only then I have to enter into a contract. Later date, I cannot go file a complaint against Kamal's company stating that, oh my God, listen, I forgot to read that MOA now. Uh, I should have been read that time. You cannot do that. So doctrine of constructive notice very clearly says that an MOA as well as AOA, memorandum of association, as well as article of association, once the registration is done, once approval is done, it is they are completely in all the public domains. Every public domain will be happening. So it's your responsibility as an investor or if you're going to invest or you're going to purchase shares, everything like that for you to research about that MOA as well as AOA very properly. Then only on later date, you cannot go file that particular company because of your own negligence. Okay, that is about doctrine of constructive notice. Now, what do you mean by doctrine of indoor management? Doctrine of indoor management, it is basically protecting a third party from any kind of financial transaction. Okay, for example, it is basically for the protection of a third party member. Protects third party who is doing a transaction of a company. Doctrine of indoor management stay says what? It is basically to protect a third pers person who is doing a transaction to a company. This can be understood to the famous case that's about Royal British Bank versus Turkant. So in Royal British Bank, there was a director. Okay. In Royal British Bank, there was a director. They came. He came to Turkant and he said that, see, the director borrowed money from Turkon because it allowed in AOA article of association it was mentioned that a director can come and take the money from a third party because it was required for that particular company. But in that article of association, it was very clearly mentioned that when you're receiving the money, it should that particular director should pass a resolution within the board of directors. Only then they're supposed to go proceed with it. So I'll repeat once again. So director from this particular company, he will reach to Turkan and he'll ask for money. Turkan will give the money. Why director approach? Because there was a need for this particular kind of organization. But however, in their article of association, it was very clearly mentioned that any money you take, you have to take a, you have to pass a resolution first. But this director did not do that resolution process. Later day, Turkan understood that he was basically cheating him. Who director was basically, Turkan, director was cheating Turkan. So what he'll do? Turkan will go to the immediately to the court and court will apply the principle of doctrine of indoor management okay so uh, because what happened uh, because as per the doctrine of indoor management it is a duty of protecting the third party and third party was not aware about it okay so it was a fraudulent mean by the director to basically cheat the turkan so this basically you can understand but however can anytime we can tell that you know can a person of a third party can anytime he can use this defense that okay he has cheated me he has cheated me can anytime he use the doctrine of indoor management no he cannot always use this doctrine of indoor, indoor management there are four exceptions for us first one is knowledge of irregularities i know that that director is a cheat he is a fraud if i have that knowledge later date i cannot go to the court and state that see doctor see your honor i i didn't know that this person was a fraud and all you can do it in case if you had a knowledge of irregularities then it was your duty to stop it later day court will not come and support you or this doctrine will not work for you no knowledge of moa and aoa there is no kind of excuse okay ignorance your judicious new and excuse it we have learned that before no? ignorance of law is not an excuse similar way no knowledge see memorandum of association as well as article of association it is in the public domain it is the duty of you to go and read it first before you give your money to another person later date you cannot tell that protection of third party financial transaction under doctrine of indoor management so you should you should be reading moa as well as AOA. third thing is about forgery forgery means a fake signature if you're trying to create a fake signature and telling that you no know, in this case itself in case of turkand was creating a fake signature and telling that this director cheated him 
then doctrine of indoor management he cannot apply then fourth is negligence intentionally if turkan was trying to cheat the guy i'm giving you different instances okay if intentionally turkan wanted to uh in negligent manner you know without looking properly or without looking into documents he entered into a contract if it was turkan's mistake then doctrine of indoor management cannot be happening so these are four kind of exceptions for it now let me teach you about what is doctrine of ultravirus so doctrine of ultravirus i can give you an example what is this example simple example is that my mother gave me rupees 500 and she said me that you take pavan go to star bazaar and only 250 rupees chocolate you go buy so i will take a uh, i'll listen to her orders i'll go to star bazaar I'll, their owner will be there i will order for chocolates so as soon as owner's daughter will come so not to impress her as well as to impress that uncle i will buy i'll tell him that okay give me 500 rupees ka chocolate and then owner will be like so much impressed the girls will be so much impressed she'll be looking at me and then i'll take 500 rupees chocolate i'll go to home there comes mahabharat and home mom will start scolding me what did you even do now you don't even have value of the money this happens always so yeah uh, so she'll scold me now what happened this is the same concept which we can understand the doctrine of ultravirus now why am i saying this because if any act of a company or any contract entered by the director on behalf of the company is beyond the powers vested in the directors and company by the subject clause of moa is considered to be null or void that means that if the director is basically representing a company if i am a director who is out of law a manager i am representing my company and i am going and entering into a contract with one person if my company has instructed me pavan you are supposed to buy the shares only for 250 i bought it for 500 rupees then that entire contract becomes null or void why because my board of directors article uh, out of law channel they with my own organization they said me that pavan you are supposed to spend only for 250 but i violated my principle even though i was a director so my entire this one becomes null or void now this is the main understanding about three important components about what is doctrine of constructive notice doctrine of constructive notice what did we learn it is compulsory to uh, read the moa as well as aoa because it is in the public domain later we cannot sue the company doctrine of indoor management what did we do protects a third party from any kind of transaction and then which was a famous thing royal bank royal british bank versus uh, turkan turkan case then there are four exceptions knowledge or uh, irregularities knowledge of moa and as well as aoa negligence and fraudery fraudery is like fake document signature and all you're creating that is fraudery then doctrine of ultra virus something void from the beginning so guys that's all for today's video hope you liked it if you do like it please do like share and subscribe and do let me know your views in the comments i'll be very happy to know it and keep on supporting we'll be posting many videos thank you so much for all your love and support